Hello, hello. We are gonna give it a whirl and see if we can finally get this plate finished tonight. Um, I started to do the project last night and the red ink was just taking forever to dry. So I think that we are finally good. I feel like um, it should be good. Hopefully we're gonna test it out and see. Hopefully it's not gonna pull up the red when I try to put my green wreath in here. Let's see what happens. My fingers are crossed. Everything's ready. This should only take a few minutes, but I didn't want to leave everybody hanging with an unfinished project because that drives me batty. So um, let's give it a whirl. I have my green couture ink and my red ready to go. So we're going to lay down the first layer, and I've labeled the back as we always do since these are reusable transfers. And I actually plan on doing this um, project on another surface because I didn't, I couldn't fit do it to the world part on this tray. So I definitely want to come in and do another project. But that's the great thing is they're reusable. So we're labeling the back. That way we can be sure to put our transfer after we've used it and cleaned it. We make sure that we're putting it on the right side, the shiny side, not the paper side. That's why we write back. So I'm going to take this transfer. You can see when I tried to do it the other night how some it pulled off some of the red because my ink was not dry. So lesson learned. Feel like it's pretty good now. So I did uh, buzz this up once already, but I'm going to do it again just real quick just to make sure that it's not going to stick real hard because they are sticky transfers and they stick especially well especially for your first time on glass surfaces so we just want to take some of the lint from the back of your i mean from your shirt or from your pants or you can just put it on a towel and it's just going to put some of the fuzz on the back to make it just a little less sticky so i'm just going to try to center this right here Making sure that I'm kind of getting even on both sides, I think I am. I feel like that's a good spot. And I'm just going to press down over the silk screen area with my finger just to avoid any bubbles in that silk screen area because that will show through um, when you go to take your transfer off. So you just want to make sure that that is um, on there good, no bubbles. I'm going to take my squeegee. This is our. Um, Oh, I just got ink on my finger that quick. Goodness gracious, I'm such a sloppy crafter. This is our small squeegee. I actually cut it in half. That way it fit into my two ounce um, ink jar. Fortunately, we now have three ounce jars and our small squeegee fits into those perfectly. But what I did was I cut these in half so that that way I could get my squeegee in here and get just the right amount that I need. So we're just going to cover this silk screen area that's all we need to cover you don't need to worry about the teal part and just making sure that all of the silk screen area is covered and then squeegeeing off all that excess ink that we have on there because we can put that right back into our jar we don't want to waste any right because we want to make many different projects with this ink so we're going to do our best to Put all that excess back in there. I'm checking my fingers again just to make sure I didn't get any ink on my fingers because I don't want to have ink on my fingers and touch somewhere else because then you'll now have ink where you don't want it. So let's see how this goes. And yep, it's it looks like it started to peel pull up some of my red. It still was not 100% dry. It just pulled just a tiny little piece from right here, but the wreath looks awesome. I really like that. Hey, hey, Michelle. Super excited. My kid is now on Secaucus. Hopefully it'll be here <gasps> tomorrow. How exciting. Hold on. I can't see the rest of your message. Let me just click on that. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for you to get your kit. I can't wait for you to get started either. I want to see all the cool stuff you're making. And, um, I think you're just going to have a blast. It is so much fun. Um, which leads me to, if anyone else is interested in joining, now's a perfect time to join. We have our, um, uh, we call it Business in a Box kit. 
that is $99 and it has everything you need to get started and I will put the link to my online store where you can join or you can purchase these transfers and these cool color inks or chalk paste or anything else however I do need to let you guys know that tonight our um, website is going dark and will be available tomorrow after 10, I want to say 10 Mountain Time, because we're getting a brand new website. This is so exciting. Um, it's going to be able to do so many more great things, so much more easier to navigate. So I saw a little sneak peek, and I can't wait. But, um, but definitely, yeah, if you're interested, you can um, join tomorrow or purchase any of these cool products on the brand new website tomorrow so that should be pretty cool in the meanwhile I'm going to take a heat gun to this I'm hoping that this green is going to dry a little quicker than the red did last night Just a tiny hint of the peel there, Michelle. I don't, uh, I don't know why the red. I mean, it doesn't feel tacky. Um, I don't know why the red just took forever to dry, and it could be this thing because this thing is slower than dirt. Um, I really miss my hair dryer now that I went and got this. Um, my hair dryer just really, I could put it on high heat and it would really blast the crap out of the ink and the paste and dry it really, really fast. This just takes forever with this thing. Um, and I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to get this dry and I don't want to put my finger in it because then you'll see my fingerprint. I'm just being impatient like I always am. And then I don't want to make this, this dish is going to start getting hot. But doesn't it look so pretty with the um, the red and the green ink on the white plate? I love it. <laughs> yeah, stick with the hair dryer, definitely. I mean, this thing really is getting pretty darn hot. Maybe it's just, you know, maybe it's my imagination that it just feels like, because I can put it on a high heat, that it dries quicker, or... The only other thing I can think of is because I'm doing it on a plate and maybe that's why it's, and it's like glazed, maybe that's why it's taking longer for the ink to dry. I don't think I've ever inked on a plate before. Um, so maybe that's what it is. But this definitely is still tacky, so I still cannot put my next layer on here, darn it. Um, I was just hoping that it was the... The red ink that I was having the issue with but I don't think that's the case I think it's the surface that I'm using it on is just taking forever to dry I'm gonna have to do some research on that because like I said this is I want to say this is the first time I've, I've inked on a plate but it's weird though because when I did um, let me just show you when I did this mug a couple days ago this dried so fast. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the the different material. I, I don't know. Um, and But I haven't baked this yet. And that's why I was kind of holding off baking this to make it permanent when I was done this. Because I was going to bake both of them at the same time. And in order to make it permanent, all that you need to do. Now this is on here good. It's not going to come off with my fingers. or um, I did heat set it to kind of dry the ink itself but now to make it permanent I'm gonna put this on a cookie sheet along with this um, in a cold oven and turn it on 350 and put it in there for 30 minutes turn the oven off and then leave it sitting there until the oven cools off just make sure you grab a an oven mitt because these will probably still be a little hot and then um, take it out and you are done. Don't forget to take the paper off the bottom. I learned that lesson the one time and I burnt the crap out of the paper when I put it in the oven because I forgot to take that off. So just a little tip. Don't forget to do that like I did. Same here. You want to make sure you take the paper off of this as well. So as I'm doing all that talking, I was kind of hoping that this was going to start to dry a little bit. 
and that my plate would cool down because man that sucker is hot right now so I really don't want to keep putting the heat onto it to make it too too hot um, could be might be like the mugs do you think it it would need to be baked well yeah Michelle they definitely need to be baked to make them permanent um, because even though this is on here and it's good, I could actually put water on this and wash it off because I only use the heat tool on it just to dry the ink um, because you want to make sure that your ink is good and dry before you put it in the oven because I have heard some people say that if your ink is not thoroughly dry and you go to bake it, it might run, I think is what they said. So I always make sure that it's nice and dry. I've, I did this a couple days ago, so it's... The, the ink is definitely dry on here but for this one I will definitely probably let this sit out a couple more days just because the red still feels just slightly tacky and as you can see I pulled it up with my transfer so it wasn't a hundred percent dry um, I would I would just suggest to err on the side of caution and just let it go a couple days and then bake it to, to make it permanent and to heat set it so that's that's where I'm kind of going with this. Uh, I'm gonna, let me see, this is cooled off slightly. I'm gonna just apply just a little more heat again and we'll see if that helps it along. But otherwise I may have to wait again because I really have come this far and I don't wanna mess it up just to add the last little details of the little berries on top. And I wanna do that in red. And I obviously this is gonna be going right over top of this, so I need to make sure this is good and dry. So I may have to wait again. I mean, I could leave it just like that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's really cute. Um, I could come and add some little um, designs over here if I wanted to. As I always say, I like simplicity, so for me, this is just simple and elegant, and I just like the look of it. And again, remember that our, um, our couture ink is not food safe, so this is a serving dish that I would maybe put some cookies on or things like that. I would definitely, once this is baked in and set and it's permanent and you're going to be using it, um, definitely put some saran wrap on top and then put your cookies on top. You'll be able to see the design through the saran wrap, but just to make sure that the ink is not touching any any food of any kind. You just want to be careful of that. Um, or you can just simply um, get a hold of one of these little guys. Grab one of these guys out. You can get a couple of these things. And then you can just kind of set it like that. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But you could also just put it on a display. Let me see if you can see. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's a little weird angle from being above. But you could have, just get one of these little display racks and just have it as a display piece too. So that works as well. So either option is great and works. So I think I'm foiled yet again. I mean, it, it's dry, but it still has just a slight bit of tackiness to it, so I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to hold off, and I'm going to try again tomorrow night and finish this off with the berries, and then three days later, we're going to have our finished project, but it's well worth it because I think it's really pretty. Um, I may come back in later. I've got some other surfaces that I can do some projects on, and since yet again I wasn't able to finish tonight, I may come back and do something a little later. Have a great night. I will talk to you all later. Bye.